Mr. Shaw, thank you very much for being with us. Uh, unless I'm mistaken, one of your books was on Osama bin Laden's bookshelf. How do you feel about that? Well, it, it, it certainly won me a lot of friends when it was announced, uh, you know, four or five years ago. Uh, I, I think it's simply there because I listened to what uh, Osama bin Laden said. He and Al Qaeda did what they said. And I, I, I think that uh, uh, we continue to ignore what the enemy says, and we, we're in the fix we are now uh, because of that, sir. What will he have learned from your book if uh, he got around to reading it? He just would have learned, he would have saw what he said. And, and I, what I tried to do in the book is to just tell Americans or Europeans, whoever wanted to read it, was here's a guy who's declared war on the United States, and a lot of people said big deal. Uh, and I, what I did was a correlation between what he said and what they did, and they were doing everything he said, you know, 75 or 80 percent of the time. Uh, he was, he was uh, uh, telegraphing to us what they intended to do and why they did it. Had nothing to do with our liberties and freedom and women's rights and whiskey and the rest of that nonsense. It had to do with intervention in their world primarily, support for the Israelis, support for Arab police states, and if anything, under under Mr. Cameron and under Mr. Obama, we have enhanced uh, the motivation for the enemy to attack us. Certain amount of skepticism being expressed about the timing and uh, the edited content of what's been released uh, now. Uh, do you share in that? Is this a sort of counterattack to uh, the uh, PBS uh, uh, questioning of the way in which Obama was tracked down? I, th I think, sir, it's less than uh, the questioning about the, the capture or killing, or rather, of Osama bin Laden than it has to do with the absolute disaster uh, that's going on in Iraq at the moment. You know, one of the things Osama bin Laden said is that the Mujahideen, the Islamists, had to be careful not to get off to too quick a start going after the Shia, because the Shia, a war against the Shia would be much more popular than a war against the Americans. And if we if we were if we were paying attention to what uh, our nemesis uh, had said, we would not be trying to get in the middle of these people as they wage a war uh, of a sectarian nature. There are some who are saying that, you know, Al Qaeda, the notion of this international terrorist network is something that was sort of got up uh, by those people in the United States and elsewhere who wanted to have uh, a war on terror and that they weren't really an organized conspiracy. What would you say to that? I think they were very much an organized uh, uh, system, sir. They survived. A lot of people said they survived in Afghanistan because they were unstructured and decentralized. They were a very structured organization, and that's why they survived the initial attack and have uh, grown in, in terms of geography and manpower since. Uh, I think the letters themselves show the nature of the organization, the amount of communication between um, uh, 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 franchises or foreign offices, if you will, and the commander. And, and I think we need to remember, too, that for the better part of a decade, Mr. Bush and then Mr. Obama and your prime ministers told their people that uh, bin Laden was isolated and couldn't communicate with anyone and his threat was diminishing for that reason. These documents and the documents that were released in May 2012 show just the contrary.